Hey guys, it's Trish. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing a tag video and today's tag is called If I Had a Luxury Time Machine. It is created by Kat L. I'll link her video down below. And I was tagged by Mel in Melbourne, so thank you for tagging me in this video. And if you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Trish Trin. Use my hashtag CDRHollis if you want to share your post with me. I'll come like a comment on your photo. If you suggest a video down below and I choose a video, I'll give you a shout out. So all you have to do is just a video suggestion. Also comment on social media or your small business, I'll give Ido or a shout out. And I do have a TikTok, it's at Trish Chin with two H and N. And without further ado, let's get started with today's video. So today's tag is called If I Had a Luxury Time Machine. So I'm going to show you guys three items that I am really happy about the purchase. I would do it again. And then three items that I regret buying. So the first item is my, uh, let's start off with my first purchase ever, which was actually a gift from my dad. It is this mini Lady Dior and it is limited edition. I'm really, really happy that I chose this handbag a long time ago. So let me tell you guys the story first. I did actually mention this in a different video, but if you guys didn't watch it, so this is my first ever Dior item, first Dior handbag, first Dior purchase. And before my dad would bring us to like outlet stores, we would go to Co like an outfit fa uh, factory store and we would buy a lot of like SOGs, card holders, uh, handbags, crossbody bags and then one day my dad brought my sister and I to Dior in South Coast Plaza in California and we picked out our first Lady Dior and honestly I don't really remember choosing this handbag I just chose a random one and it was actually limited edition so I'm really really happy that I chose this and to this day I blame my dad for bringing us to Dior because now I'm like Dior addicted and I want everything Dior, I'm obsessed and I'm just super super happy about this item, this gift from my dad and yeah I'm so happy that I chose a mini Lady Dior, it is my favorite Dior, uh, Lady Dior size and also it is limited edition so this one is like a hot pink color and it also has ribbons on the top here which is so pretty all around the handbag and then here's the Dior charm. I just love it so much. So I'm really happy that I chose this as my first Dior handbag. So I would definitely do it again. Always, always loving Lady Dior. So that is my first, uh, I guess, gift purchase that I'm really, really happy about. And yeah, now moving on to the next item, which is another handbag. Um, this is actually my first ever 30 Montaigne and it is limited edition. I think it was only 25 units in the US or 30, I forgot, somewhere around there. And I'm just in love with this one and I have my essay like like email people helping me to get this handbag and I got my hands on it. So this one is like a floral, it is hand painted so it is kind of expensive for this handbag but I'm so glad that I have a limited edition and this is my first 30 Montaigne. I don't think I will purchase another one because I'm more into Lady Dior. It is more classic and Lady Dior will always be there. It will never be discontinued so Lady Dior is like my first purchase but I do love this 30 Montaigne. Here it is up close, it is all hand painted, and I have a Mrs. Scarf tied like a bow right here, it looks so cute, and yeah, it's even hand painted on the strap as well, it just looks so so beautiful, and if nobody knows, you can actually wear it as like a crossbody, shoulder, or even if you put this like strap up, you can actually wear it as a shoulder bag, so you just pull this um, strap over here trying to show you guys on camera and you just adjust it to like how like how you want it to be so it's kind of like this wait give me a second and then you pull a little bit more so it should look like this and then you can wear it as a shoulder bag it's so cute and I love it a lot you can wear it so many ways so I am in love with my limited edition 30 Montaigne We'll do it again. I just love collecting limited edition. So yeah, that is my second item, best purchase, very happy about. And then the last item that I'm really happy about is my Dior backpack. This one I got in Las Vegas in I think 2015. And this one is called the Dior Stardust Backpack. So I love this a lot because I've actually never seen anybody have it. Maybe there weren't too many like made or maybe nobody really purchased it as much and it's no longer available at least I think maybe baby Dior I'm not too sure but I am in love with the Stardust backpack it is in gold metallic and has canage and it says Dior right here and then you can actually open this but it's kind of more of like for a look 
uh, since it is like, what do you call this? You have to like open it, like it takes too much time to open, so it's more of just like a look. And then there is a little like pouch in the back. I like to slip my phone in here because it's easier to like take out, put back in. And then there is a magnetic opening, closing, and it can actually fit a lot. I just have tissue paper in here, that way it won't be like all slouchy. But I do love this backpack a lot. And it's so cute. I love wearing this when I go traveling. I did bring this last time when I went to California. I went to Disneyland and uh, I am still editing my video. It's kind of just like a for fun video that I want to upload, nothing like serious. But if you guys do want to take a look at my other channel, it's called Trish Eason Travels. I'll link it down below. So yeah, I'm really happy about this purchase. Super, super beautiful. Not many people have it, so I'm really happy that it's somewhat like limited in a way. So yeah, that is my third item that I am really happy about. Now moving on to three items that I regret buying that if I had a chance to go back in time, I would not buy it ever. So first, it is kind of, I guess, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Weird? Or crazy that I would categorize this in regretting? Because I have regret, but then I have don't which are SOGs because first off, I do love collecting small letter goods, I love card holders, but I feel like I could have saved up and get a handbag instead because you don't really need many card holders. Nobody is going to see what's inside your handbag, only you. Unless you're buying something, you would take your card holder out and pay for the item, but other than that, nobody will see your card holder. So you really don't really need to like collect a lot of small letter goods if you guys know what I'm trying to say. But I do love my card holders, just I feel like it's better to save up your money and buy something bigger than getting something small, you know? So here's a Dior card holder. This is in patent strawberry pink color and it's in Canage, the Lady Dior. It even has a charm in the back and I still haven't even used it yet. I also have the Calls one. I do love it a lot since it is limited edition for Dior men's. But I don't know, I just prefer saving up my money now just to get like something bigger, find jewelry, a handbag, rather than just collecting small letter goods all the time. So yeah, just recommend saving your money and getting a handbag instead since it's much better. And these card holders are already like $400 each. So I have like a lot of card holders. I'd rather save it up now and like get a handbag. So that is one thing that I regret buying, a lot of SOGs. Next is my Dior sunglasses. I have two, but I'm only showing one today. So here is the white Dior Canage sunglasses case. And I actually have two sunglasses, but I'm only showing one today. These are my blue ones, and on the side it just says Dior with Canage, and it's in blue. And I don't know, I'm not, I'm not really a fan of sunglasses anymore. I think the last time I wore my sunglasses was in like 20... 20... Uh, I have no idea, but I have, haven't been wearing it at all. I don't know, I'm just not really a sunglasses person, and when I do go out... I don't know, I feel like when I wear it inside the car, it does give me a headache. And I'm mostly indoors, so I just feel like sunglasses aren't really my thing, at least now, maybe in the future. But I will still keep it. I mean, I guess I kind of regret buying it because I don't really wear it anymore. But maybe in the future when I get older, maybe I will like sunglasses. But that's just me for now. Sunglasses aren't my thing, so they are going to be in the case in my closet. So yeah, that is the second item that I regret buying. And the last one, which is over here. So now the last item I regret buying are these Dior sandals here. I actually have them in the heel version in a gold metallic color. But when Dior came out with these shoes, they didn't have black with heels. So I just got the black ones in a sandal version. And I was planning on wearing this because we were gonna go on we were going to go Vietnam in the summer, but then COVID, so we couldn't go on vacation. And I was planning on wearing these on vacation, but I'm not really a sandal person. I'm more of like heels in the back or like sneakers. So yeah, I actually have haven't even worn these shoes. They're like so new. And yeah, I haven't even worn them at all. Uh, if Dior did actually make a heel version in black, I would have gotten those than these sandals. But yeah, these are so new, I haven't even worn them, touched them, until now filming this video. So, yeah, if I were able to go back in time, I would not get these ones. I would save my money, get different shoes, maybe the d shoes, because they are so comfortable and I love them a lot. I love the heel versions, I like to look a little bit taller. So, yeah, I am... Kind of sad I haven't used them, kind of sad that I purchased them, but 
it wasn't too bad because the price wasn't like so high so I'm somewhat okay maybe I will wear it uh, next summer when we go on vacation so yeah those are the three items I'm super happy about and the three items that I regret buying um, thank you so much to Kat L for making this tag video and thank you to Mel and Melbourne for tagging me and people that I tag I'll put your name in the description box below and that is it today's video I hope you guys enjoyed subscribe to my channel follow my Instagram at Trish Chin use my hashtag CDRholics suggest a video down below take a look at my TikTok and I'll see you guys next time bye